now I'm going to show you how you can take a screenshot in Selenium, right? So what are the methods, how you can use them in real time. But before going there, let's first discuss why do you need to take screenshots at all in your uh, automation, right? Your automation is um, running without any interference, uh, like you don't need to uh, keep on monitoring your um, automation scripts, right? Because you have put assertions. So why do we need screenshots? So even if you have put uh, assertions on your automation and it's running smoothly, if there is a failure, it, it may be because of an application issue or it may be a script issue, right? If uh, your script fails at a certain point, and you need to again run it, but you don't know what exact point it has failed, right? Because there is no visual proof of that. In those cases, you need to take screenshots, right? So that um, whenever there's a failure, you can capture a screenshot and then you can easily identify exactly where uh, in your application that issue occurred and whether it was due to an application issue or whether there is some fault in your scripts, right? And you can go ahead and correct it. So these are uh, some of the scenarios where you, review, you will require to take screenshots in your Selenium automation. So I have listed down few few scenarios like capture application error, capture assertion failure. Also, it's, it is very helpful for debugging, right? Debugging a particular issue. Then uh, you can also attach the screenshots in your reports, right? So whenever you send a report, you can attach, attach some important screenshots of your scenarios so that uh, it acts as a proof that it has worked uh, with your automation, right? Then if you're raising any defects or bugs, uh, then you can attach the screenshot so that the developer can look at it and also look at the steps to identify where exactly is the problem and how you can resolve it, right? So these are some of the advantages of taking screenshots in your automation. Now, let's have a look at how you can actually do that, right? So getting back to our project and so how do we do this, right? So there is a take screenshot class, right? Now you need to typecast it with your driver instance. So you need to cast it to the driver. Once it's done, right? So now I need a file and I this is this will be my source file. So then you can use this screenshot and get screenshot as right here you can use output type dot file so this is our source file which will be um, which will be the screenshot right generated by this method and then uh, we need to have a destination file right so here you can do a new file you can create a new file and you can pass the path here so I will make it I will have a folder called screenshots and under that now I will have some test screenshot right dot png so that's the file type right now we need to copy our source file to the destination so we'll use something called file utils right dot copy copy file and we will copy the source file to the destination file so that we can get this right now this will raise an exception so we need to handle that now if in your scenario if you are using this file utils and not able to find this class right uh, you need to make sure that you have added this dependency commons.io, right? So this is part of this package. So make sure you have added this dependency before using this file utils method, which is copy file, right? So this is how you create a screenshot, you copy it um, and you can give the path where you want to store that particular file, right? Now, it doesn't need to be a static name, right? You can um, you can put some logic to create a new um, 
name based on your feature file or based on your test case name. So you can do a number of combinations, right? You can have a uh, dynamically changing screenshot name depending on the scenario which you're executing. But just for demo purpose, so I've just kept it. So this will create a screenshots folder in my project and it will store this file. So let's check this out. I'll be taking a screenshot of my home page, um, the page which I'm opening, right? But you can easily put this um, wherever you want, right? Uh, whichever test case, whichever steps, or you can even put it after you do a assertion and if it fails, you take a screenshot, right? So it's pretty useful um, if you ask me and it should be part of every automation framework. So as you can see, it has created a screenshots folder here for my project. And I have this PNG file, right? So this is my screenshot of the page, right? So nice and tidy. So that's how you take a, a screenshot in Selenium WebDriver. And in the next section, we will be looking at how to use JavaScript executor in your Selenium WebDriver, right? 